Hola darlings, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be doing a beauty bay haul. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm really sorry about my voice. Um, I've had a really bad cold and a really bad chest, so if my voice sounds a little bit croaky or if I cough halfway through, I'm really, really sorry about that. So, I ordered a big beauty bay haul um, and I'm going to show you what I bought, I'm going to tell you the pricing and we're going to do like a little mini first impression. So some swatches and things like that just to kind of see how the product feels um, and what I think about it just by looking at it and feeling it. So. A lot of things I got were from Makeup Revolution. If you know me, you know that I absolutely love Makeup Revolution. I'm very much a drugstore makeup kind of girl. I do have high-end products as well, um, but drugstore is mainly the sort of makeup that I buy, um, and Makeup Revolution is like my favorite brand. So, first thing I got was I got a couple of their new palettes. Now, I have a few of the Forever Flawless palettes. So I have the Chilled one, I have the Eyes, I have the Utopia one, um, and a couple of others. Um, but they've come out with a couple new ones. So I got Showstopper, and it looks like this. I really love the packaging of these. And it's a very purpley coloured one. So you can see there. So we've got matte shade, so that's a purple one there, which I'm going to swatch on my arm for you. We've got some shimmers, and we've got some actual sparkly ones, so some actual glitters. So I'm just going to show you, so they're really pretty, I love that glitter there. So that's a few of the shades. They feel lovely. They feel just like um, the shimmers and the glitters and the mattes from the other palettes that I have from them. Their formulas are always amazing. I haven't come across one of their um, eyeshadow palettes that I haven't liked. Um, I find all of them, they blend beautifully. The colors are beautiful. The formulas are done really, really well. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. And this was, this was 9.95. So really affordable as well. These palettes are super affordable from Makeup Revolution. They are amazing. The other one I got is a more colorful palette. And this one, the packaging is also beautiful. Look at that. That's amazing. Stop, look how beautiful that is. And this one is the Birds of Paradise. So you can see you've got some feathers and stuff on there. And look at that. I'm sorry, I think I just died. Look at that palette, look how beautiful that is. That's amazing. So we've got some blues, we've got some pinks, purples, yellows. Um, lots of oranges, it's a very tropical palette um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Again I will swatch some of these for you. Oh okay these ones here they're shimmers but they're like they're squidgy. Feels like how do I describe that? Kind of like you know how play-doh squishy it's kind of like that look at those colors that's amazing and then we've got like the glitters again that's beautiful this palette is also 9.99 so absolute bargain um, beautiful colors I can't wait to try this out I love colorful looks on my eyelids so I'm definitely definitely going to do a look with this so stay tuned on my Instagram I'll link it down below um, you can have a look at looks that I've already done and when I post this one you can go have a look at that too um, I'm gonna try and post more pictorials I think because people wanted to see more of those so I will pop some more pictorials on there as well so yeah that is also stunning 
Next thing I got was from LA Girl. Um, so I normally use a um, ink liner, but I wanted to try a gel liner. I find it much easier to use a brush, so putting some on my hand, using a brush and you putting it on putting the eyeliner on with a brush than using the applicator of the eyeliner. So here it is. It's got, I'm gonna open it up. So it's got a little eyeliner pot and it's got a little brush that comes with it. Now this brush I think is quite thick. It's not really an eyeliner brush. Um, so I don't think I will be using that. It's a soft brush, but it's not the eyeliner brush that I normally use. So I don't think I'll be using that. But the gel eyeliner looks fab. Um, looks really black from the swatch that I've done on my hand. It feels nice. It doesn't seem like it will dry out too quick either. I think you'll have time to manoeuvre things around and you know, if you make a mistake, go back and things like that. So I'm really excited to try that. And these sorts of liners last for a very, very long time. So even though it's a tiny little pot, um, it should last me for a while. It had good reviews online. So I'm really excited about that. And that was, let's have a look. That was five pound. Um, if you have LA Girl products, you'll know that LA Girl um, are an affordable brand. So they are a drugstore brand. Um, and I've never actually used many of their products before. Um, but from other YouTubers that I've watched um, and reviews, I've heard quite good things about them. So I'm excited about that. The next thing I got was also Makeup Revolution, and that was the Duo Brow Definer. Um, on one side it has a brush, on the other side it has the eyebrow pencil. I prefer using eyebrow pencils um, to powders or gels or anything like that. I think it's a lot more precise, um, and for my eyebrows it just works best. Um, and I'd actually run out, so this is more of a, you know, I restocked on my empties. Um, but I absolutely love this pencil. I've been using it for a while now. Um, so one side it has a little brush and on the other side, on the other side it has a pencil. So just do a little line for you there. And I got that in dark brown. So I got that in dark brown. I love this. Um, but yeah, I've tried it before and it's amazing. So I restocked on that. Um, I got some lashes. So I've heard a lot about unicorn lashes. And I saw these on Beauty Bay and I really, really, really wanted to try them because they look stunning. These are the style Rebel Smoke and they are absolutely stunning. Let me zoom you in. I mean, look at those. Amazing. So these ones are fake mink. So um, these ones are cruelty free. Um, with eyelashes, I do not buy lashes that are real mink. Um, I don't support that. I don't think that killing animals for their fur is necessary, um, especially for people's beauty routines and beauty habits. I don't agree with that. If you do support that, then that's absolutely fine, each to their own. Um, you know, you do you, I do me, but I don't believe in killing animals or hurting animals for lashes or cosmetics so I try to go um, cruelty free and also vegan where possible um, but mainly cruelty free um, and these lashes these particular style of lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics are cruelty free um, and they look amazing they're 3D and it says reusable to 10 plus wear so you can use them more than 10 times. 
um, and yeah the packaging's amazing um, let me just open up so you can see it a little bit better okay so I'm not going to get them out but as you can see they are stunning so I can't wait to try these out I'm really excited about these um, again I'll probably do a look with them on my Instagram so if you want to see that head over to my Instagram and that'll be on there so I'm really excited about these the other lashes I got are the Dauntless lashes sorry I forgot to say the Unicorn Cosmetics lashes were £10 so for lashes that's not too bad um, that's normally what you pay for a brand like Ardell or something like that so um, it's very similar pricing um, I think that's an alright price for um, 3D lashes like that lashes take time to make so I think that's definitely a good price so these are by LA Splash um, and they are the Dauntless lashes now these are cruelty free and that's what they look like so they're also really fluffy and stunning and I can't wait to wear these either um, and those were £5.50 so really really cheap obviously nearly half the price of what the unicorn lashes are um, they're both stunning um, these are quite long they're probably not the sort of lashes I'm normally used to but for more bold looks more creative looks I think these are stunning and I can't wait to, wait to try these so LA Splash um, cosmetics are actually cruelty free and they are also gluten free as well and some of their products are also paraben free um, so I would definitely check those out £5.50 for a pair of lashes that look that amazing is a bargain um, so I would definitely go and check them out I have tried some of LA Splash lashes before and they are amazing and they do last for a very long time as long as you look after your lashes and keep them in good condition you can reuse them plenty of times I've had lashes that I've had you know that I've put on 20 plus times um, as long as you when you take them off you can put them in a little bit of micellar water or something overnight just make sure that any mascara or glue um, that you've had on them has come off give them um, just a little pat down or let them dry overnight and they should be fine in the morning and you can reuse them again um, you will start to notice if lashes aren't usable anymore um, because some of the hairs might start falling off they might start looking a bit tatty um, so just obviously bear that in mind um, but yeah I would definitely try those so I'm super excited about that next thing I got was the new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix Primer now I think this is more of a putty primer if I'm not wrong I'll open it and have a look um, this was let me see this was £8 now for Makeup Revolution you can get a palette for £8 so I do think that's a little bit on the expensive side for a drugstore brand however it is a new product it's a different type of primer um, it's a big pot that's going to last you for a very very long time um, as you can I mean this is 20 grams in here so that's quite a lot I don't think you'll need much of this when putting on your makeup so this will last you for a very long time so when you think about it eight pound will be worth it because you know you're having it for a long time it does come with a little scoopy thing um, you can use that if you want to scoop the product out and then put it on your face or you can literally just put it on your finger or you can even use a brush it's up to you um, it I thought it was going to be a putty but it feels very waxy I'm just putting my 
finger in it, try and make a dent in it. So I've got some on my finger, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to tell you what it feels like. So, I'll just show you where I've put it on the back of my hand. I've just popped some there, I don't know if you can see where I'm more pale, excuse my hands, they're really really dry at the minute from the bad weather, but I've just popped it on there and I'm not sure about this, it feels very waxy, very oily, um, I'm not too sure this isn't normally the sort of primer that I was you that I normally use. When I bought this and I looked at the product, I thought it was going to be a putty sort of primer, especially on the advert that I saw for it on Facebook. Um, it looked like it was going to be a bit more like putty base, and that it would, you know, be a bit thicker to fill in your pores. But as I'm blending it out, it does feel quite oily. It does say conceal and fix. It says pore perfecting primer, velvet priming balm with applicator base. Okay, so it does tell you it's a balm. So that's just me being stupid and not reading things properly. Um, it does say it's a balm. It says it's supposed to have a smooth skin canvas and increasing makeup, makeup long, longevity, longevity. I can't say that word. Now, I don't know. I don't want to beat the product though before I try it, so I definitely will try it, but from putting it on my hand, I mean, now that it's settled in a little bit, it doesn't feel as oily, but when you put your finger in, it does feel really, really oily and really greasy. Um, I have oily patches on my skin, so I kind of need to see how that's going to react um, with my skin and foundation on top. But again, I would definitely try this out and I will let you know um, how it works for my skin. I can do a mini review on my Instagram um, and I will let you know what my first impressions of that are. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to this, but not as much as some of the other products. I'm just worried that it's not going to be for my type of skin, but we'll see. Now, another Makeup Revolution product, I have the Blusher Reloaded um, Makeup Revolution Blusher in Rhubarb and Custard, and it's actually what I'm wearing today, um, and it is a stunning colour. Now, I know what the formula is like, because obviously I have the blusher, and I love the blusher formula, so when I saw this, I thought, oh, I really want to try that out because it is their highlighter reloaded. So they have blusher reloaded and they have highlighter reloaded. And how stunning is that? I could literally die over this. I just, I can't. Look at it. Just look at it. Don't even look at my face. Look at the highlighter. Are you just stop I'm sorry who what you have got to be kidding me that is stunning wow no I'm obsessed I'm actually obsessed with that I cannot wait to put this on my cheeks actually wait there I'm going to put that on my cheeks Stop. Oh my days. Oh my god. Right, I'm obsessed with this. I'm actually obsessed with this. I think this actually might be my favourite highlighter. Just Right, I'm going to zoom you in, but like, look at that glow on my nose, look at my nose, are you joking, ugh, go and get this, let me see how, £3.95, £3.95 for a stunning highlighter 
and got you get highlighters like this from high-end brands and they're pretty much exactly the same and they charge you like quadruple the price this is three come on like four pound and look how amazing it is I'm definitely going to be using this again I love the formula I love the color the color is stunning it's not too you know it's perfect for my skin tone I think this would be perfect for most skin tones to be honest it's gorgeous it's not um, sparkly I don't really like sparkly highlighters it's just shiny it's amazing it's affordable I'm obsessed so that is the dare to divulge highlighter reloaded so go and grab yourself some of those because that's amazing um, and the last couple of things of things that I got were actually free gifts so I spent £55.30 in total. Um, when you spend over, I think it's over £50, they send you some free gifts. So I've got two Makeup Revolution palettes that they sent me for free. So one of them is an eyeshadow palette and the other one is a highlighter and a contour palette. So this is the eyeshadow palette, Kind Heart, and it looks like that. So these are actually all shimmers. Um, no, sorry. Most of these are shimmers. There's one matte on the end there. Um, and there's more of a sparkly one here. But that's a really, really pretty palette. I'm definitely going to try this out. I'll just do a little swatch quickly on my arm. So that's some of the swatches there. So you've got the matte one there, the more sparkly one there, then that one there. So I'm definitely going to try that out. I don't know how much this was. Obviously, it was a free gift. If I can find out, I will link them down in the description box. I will link all of the products that I bought down in the description box if you would like to go and purchase these for yourself. So I will leave all of the links down below um, to Beauty Bay. But yeah, these were free gifts, but I will try and find out how much these were if you would like to purchase these. And then we've got the Strong Soul. And this one is contour and highlight. So um, this one's a highlight here, and these are contour shades. I think that one's going to be a little bit light for me but that one in the middle definitely looks like it'd be my colour um, they've got some good shade ranges here for different skin tones so that's amazing um, let me just swatch this highlight I mean it's pretty it's down here see it it's more sparkly it's more sparkly than the other one um, and it's not as bright so but I am excited about that as well so I will try and find out how much um, these two are if you would like to get that so that is it for my haul today I hope you enjoyed it and um, thank you so much for coming along I will leave all of the products that I use down in the description box if you would like to purchase these yourself um, I will put the prices of the things down below as well when I bought them please bear in mind if there was a sale on these items the items might have gone back to their original price um, so please don't go thinking that you'll get these products for these price because they might have if they were I can't remember if they were if some of these were on sale or not but if they were um, then if some of them might have gone back to their original pricing so um, please just bear that in mind when you purchase these products um, but I will link them all down below for you please make sure that you like this video leave a comment down below um, about whether you like this video and what you would like to see next um, please make sure that you 
subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!